afternoon. Uh, welcome to our presentation on sustainable high-rate manufacturing for structural adhesive in the aerospace industry. There we go. I'm Erwin Duinker. I'm with Henko Adhesive Technologies. And please allow me to introduce my colleague Darren Wells from the AMRC. Uh, we'd like to briefly introduce our companies. And we'll start with Henkel. So Henkel is a well-known brand in the industry. I'm sure you've known it. But uh, Henkel at these technology division may have a few things that you may not know. For example, we closer to the microphone. Perfect. So Henkel has been producing adhesives since 1923, which is uh, 100 years already. And we've been uh, delivering uh, innovation and leadership in the adhesive world for since that amount of time. We grew to be the number one adhesive supplier in the world as well. So Henkel delivers leading solutions to industrial and consumer markets driven by innovation and performance. So. So if you've been in the industry long enough, I'm sure you've worked with Loctite at one point or another, uh, but Henkel has more to offer than just the Loctite adhesives. For example, uh, free code release agents, as well as the metal pretreatment products from the Bondrite line, the uh, vehicle repair solutions and uh, sealants from the Terrazone. We have the hot melts in the Technomelt line and waterborne adhesives uh, from the Aquins series. Darren, please allow me. Uh, thank you, Erwin. Um, I'd like to start by um, acknowledging that this project was funded by uh, the UK Research Institute via its um, High Value Manufacturing Catapult Initiative. Um, the HVN Catapult is a group of research technology organizations uh, around the UK, um, which cover a wide array of uh, capabilities helping to accelerate new concepts in manufacturing through to commercial reality, uh, driving original research to market. Uh, the AMRC was a pioneer uh, being the original centre for the catapult. Uh, the story starts back in the, the, the 20th century, uh, the back end of the 20th century, when the majority of the UK uh, coal mines were being closed down. Uh, at the start of the new millennium, in order to regenerate the uh, Sheffield city region, um, a former mining site was selected um, and the, the AMRC became the centerpiece of the uh, very aptly named Advanced Manufacturing Park. Uh, very quickly, um, names, big, big names from aerospace and automotive um, came and joined the site, um, keen to engage and, and utilize the skills and expertise that was on offer. Um, the Composite Center forms just one department within the organization that covers a whole spectrum of advanced manufacturing from uh, machining to design, uh, digitization and uh, automation. Uh, this project was mainly carried out in our state-of-the-art press building, which, as you can see, has a full range of composite curing capabilities, uh, equipment from autoclaves to ovens and hydraulic hot presses. Owen. Thank you, Darren. So for this cooperation, we use the infusion resin Loctite RA9501 Aero. It's a two component epoxy resin system and is produced to the latest aerospace industry quality standards. So what can you expect in terms of performance? The 9501 has been uh, designed to meet the requirements of the aerospace industry and also uh, meet eye to eye to all the uh, resin systems that are presently available in the market. So to place this in a bit of perspective, a few uh, data points for you. 
the, the, TV, the TG values, they, they reach quite high in the uh, ranking between the RTM resins as well as the prepreg systems, where the compression strength is approximately in the middle of the pack in terms of performance, but compression after impact is again right up there with the best of them. So if it's comparing in terms of performance, so how, how does it help you uh, get a sustainable high rate production? The answer will be process. So if you compare the process of a standard RTM uh, system to the RI9501, uh, you can see, for example, that the uh, injection temperature is, is quite low. It's room temperature up to 60 degrees, which will, uh, you don't need any uh, heated lines, for example, which is a, quite an advantage. Going to the cure temperature, 120 degrees to get to about 95% of the performance. Uh, quite a difference with the standard 180 degrees that you would need with the standard system. And comparing the uh, cure time at the temperature is about 20 minutes for 95.1. Closing the cycle, you will see that you have about 50% reduction of on-tool cycle time, which of course is uh, quite a benefit in terms of production rate as well as in cost. Uh, all of this is with the standard RTM process. But if you go to a high pressure RTM process where you need some bigger equipment, obviously, but it will still reduce your cycle time to about 30 minutes. And even further, uh, decrease time on the tool and improve your cost ratio. So what technologies is this resin compatible with? Uh, the low temperature for infusion as well as the low viscosity at that temperature is making it well suitable for vacuum assistant RTM. Uh, this is for uh, large parts. It, yeah, it's a, a lower cost manufacturing technology. Uh, with this resin you can easily infuse large parts at uh, room temperature or slightly increased temperature of the mold. Standard RTM also works very well, obviously. Uh, classically, it's meant for more complex uh, geometries with uh, you know, tighter thickness tolerances. Uh, this actually causes the molds to be quite a bit more expensive and this is why a shorter cycle time actually helps you quite a lot utilization of your tool and also reduce the overall cost of your process. Going to high pressure RTM, as said, needs a slightly bigger equipment. Um, this will actually reduce your cycle even more to about a few minutes instead of a few hours uh, for standard RTM. So now I've lost my way. Ah, and of course high pressure RTM is what we are using uh, in the project with uh, AMRC and this is where Darren will continue. So, in, in terms of uh, uh, the, the equipment that we used on, on the project, uh, Henkel were the main project partner and supplied the resin system, which uh, Erwin has just described in, in great detail. Um, Tejin support, supplied um, some biaxial non-crimp fabric with, with a hexium binder. Uh, German tooling supplier Fremo loaned us a uh, flat test coupon HPRTM tool for making the, the, the test coupons. Uh, Krasmafi supported us uh, with the installation and commissioning of the resin uh, in our existing Rimstar equipment that we have at the AMRC. Uh, and this was all coupled together on our Rhodes 1000 ton press. So, in terms of the development, the resin had never been processed in this way before. Um, and so, by using the controllability of the RIMSTAR system, uh, we were able to fix the flow rate um, and then gradually increase the shot weight 
uh, until the preforms were fully wet out. Uh, we then embarked upon a uh, test program manufacturing flat plaques with uh, 0, 90 and uh, quasi-isotropic layups um, using an isothermal process with the tool at a range of temperatures from 90 degrees to 150 degrees sail, uh, centigrade uh, and cure times ranging from 60 minutes down to just five minutes. Uh, from a visual perspective, uh, the, the best quality plaques were the ones produced at 120 minutes, uh, sorry, 120 degrees C for 20 minutes. Um, it was felt that above these sorts of temperatures, we started to break down the binder. Uh, it became a little bit unstable, and this is something that we've already identified um, for development in a in, in future project. So how will this resin system and process help you getting into a sustainable and high rate manufacturing process? So first of all, Henkel puts sustainability at the heart of everything that we do. So we do this by uh, re reducing the manufacturing footprint. Uh, we live inclusion and also we include sustainability targets in all of our projects. And this is why we were rewarded with a platinum, with a platinum sustainability rating by uh, EcoVadis. And this is how our infusion resin helps you uh, reach your commercial and your uh, sustainability targets. Hoppla. Obviously that is done by reducing the time on the tool and of the overall process, uh, which can help you increase your production rate. You save about 50% of time in a standard RTM process. If you look at your hardware, the expensive standard RTM tools, for example, reducing the time on that will actually help uh, driving the cost down. And as well, uh, since this is a two component uh, epoxy, you can have a refrigerator storage rather than frozen storage and transportation driving the recurring cost down even further. All of this is saving quite a bit of energy, which is reducing your CO2 footprint, which should be of interest. And compared to a standard autoclave process with pre-prex, you can save, well, uh, in a conservative estimate, uh, about 75% of your energy cost. So this is how the resin and the part production make for a more sustainable process and will help you achieve your sustainability targets. So, as you can see, um, there was a lot of uh, work carried out in a very short space of time on this project with lots of promising outcomes already achieved. Um, however, there's still a good amount of development work to do, and so this is set up perfectly for uh, a follow-on project. Um, although the resin has been commercialized, it doesn't mean that the work stops there. One area of focus, um, as we mentioned previously, would be the interaction between the resin and the binder. Um, continuous improvement is key here. Um, a huge focus area, particularly in the aerospace sector, um, is with the measurement and quality assurance methods used um, when using RTM, particularly around two component resin systems. Um, there's a lot of research still to do here to do for things like real-time measurement. Um, and so there's some big opportunities. Um, this, this work uh, very much focused on uh, producing flat plaques for test specimens so that we could generate the data. Uh, it would be great to manufacture a demonstrator component which could be showed off at uh, conferences and shows such as this. Uh, really capture the imagination of, of what is possible. Um, simulation is also an area where there's a lot of untapped research. I think looking into things like cure kinematics and resin flow fronts could be really interesting. Um, of course, by adopting a, an RTM process, it opens up the possibilities for uh, development and automation around preforming activities, particularly working around uh, dry fiber. 
and uh, tooling development is another area where research is, is key um, as, as the size and complexity becomes uh, real factors when, when dealing with aerospace uh, components. So between us, we've already been working hard behind the scenes um, to set up a potential follow-on. Um, of course, Henkel and the AMRC uh, are very much committed to trying to make that happen. Uh, the partners who supported us in this project, such as uh, Tejin, Fremo, and Kras Maffei, um, have also expressed an interest in, in, in working on the next phase. Um, so we want to use this opportunity really as a, a, a bit of a call to arms um, to try and get an end user on board um, to come and help us scope what, what the next project would look like. Um, and in terms of uh, funding opportunities, potential funding routes, so uh, since Brexit, I don't like to mention that word, but we, we have to, um, the UK has been evolving the way that companies and research organizations can collaborate with the rest of Europe. Uh, it's recently been focusing on signing bilateral agreements between specific European countries. Um, so one of the first agreements was between the UK and Germany through the ZIM and Innovate UK. Um, the UK is still eligible to be part of Horizon Europe bids with any financial grants underwritten by the UK government. Uh, and finally, um, for any companies with a UK subsidiary, um, there is Innovate UK and ATI funding uh, that we can help with, uh, for you to apply for. My notes. Sorry. Basically, I just want to say thank you for your attention. Uh, we're looking forward to hear from you how this technology can help you uh, start a new project with us. So, floor is open for questions. Don't be shy. Well, if there aren't any questions, uh, you can always send them to the email addresses on the screen. You know where to find us, and thank you for your attention. Thank you.